The Minister of Sports has addressed concerns made publicly by Shane Ring the Bell Ephraim about the conditions of the sporting facility and amenities at the VG Sab playing field. At Monday's pre-cabinet press briefing, the minister stated a myriad of reasons why work has not commenced on upgrading the playing field's condition. We have a situation in all our facilities, and I, I think we can, and I've asked some of the elderly people in my constituency whether they've ever seen a period where from January of one year until January of the next year, you have rain consistently every month. And so it has really hampered hampered some of what we can do in terms of the, the interventions that we need for the maintenance of facilities. He notes at present St. Lucia is in a transitory phase where many of the island's playing fields will receive much needed upgrades. In addition to that, we are transitioning as a nation as it pertains to facilities. We have engaged contractors to develop a number of playing fields in St. Lucia to pretty much transition them to mini stadiums and of course VG with the imposition of a semi-pro league will receive that attention. So I can smile today because I know we are transitioning from VG being uh, multi-use by anybody and um, pretty much transitioning to ensuring that we can continue to have that but in an enclosed setting with lights and the proper facilities in terms of toilet, in terms of pavilion. Trevor Daniel, a coach who uses the VG playing field for his youth football training program, has also aired his grievance with the sporting facility doubling as an entertainment ground. I really don't believe that at, in this day and age that the ministers are still taking this position. I think the, for the past few years, regardless of government, regardless of which party is in power, they've had little to no regard for the athletes and the users of the fields. They come to the fields, they use it, they, they, they um, abuse the field, they drive all over the field, they put their tents. When, the, when, the, when these shows and events are done, there are bottle caps, there are nails, there are broken bottles, stoppers on the facilities. And apart from that, they leave it and have no kind of regard for the repair or the, or the rehabilitation of the fields. I mean, it's not the first time we were having this conversation and I will keep fighting this case for us until it, something better is done. I mean, I have no The minister went on to say he is not concerned about the Fiji playing field. Here's why. After the budget, you'll be hearing certain pronouncements about what we are doing about the VG playing field and Central Castries being, you know, historically one of the powerhouses in terms of football. And so I am not concerned about VG playing field. I know for sure that it is not where I as minister would want it to be. But I'm very confident that by the end of this term, we will see a complete transition, a transformation for a number of facilities in St. Lucia. Ithrim made his public appeal on Tuesday, January 30th, in which he addressed the peer administration, namely the sports minister, to do something to improve the amenities at the facility. For Choice News Now, I am Chelsea Austinay.